Good morning, everybody. Let me make sure I turn off my Bluetooth. Perfect. Hey, guys, it's your favorite Tracy Sue coming at you live from my Diva Mobile. Happy Thursday. I'm popping on here a little early today because I'll be singing tacos all day and night. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit. I want to ask you a question Are you building your boundaries? Are you building your boundaries, guys? Hi, Judy. How you doing? In life, guys, we have to build our boundaries within ourselves and other people. And it's not that we love them any more or any less. Let me put on my glasses so I can see what's going on. Any more or any less, guys. But the thing about it is we have to love ourselves more. Hello, Kimberly Marie. How are you doing, beautiful? What I've learned is by me setting boundaries, even with my own husband, my family, right? I needed to keep my focus on building myself. So I, hold on, I'm in my car. Let me fix my lighting. I'm in my car. Anyway, Diva Mobile, it's some hot mess. I went to the post office yesterday. So that's what I had to do. I had to start building boundaries. And then when, I, when my team started to grow, guys, I had to start building those boundaries as well because I am their upline. And I have to extrude myself in a positive manner, if that makes sense to everybody. So you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with building boundaries for yourself. Look at me in this gorgeous ah, oil spill and I'm wearing blue acrylics. I'm shiny today. But you have to build those boundaries. You have to for your own mindset, for your own sanity and for yourself. They don't have to be like, listen, people talk negative all the time. I don't listen to that negativity. Now, if somebody's venting to me about something that happened, I listen. However, I don't allow that to affect me personally, if this makes sense. So, it happens because, you know, bad things happen to good people. And sometimes we don't know how to express ourselves in a manner that we should. And you just have to take it with a grain of salt. Let's just say that. Take it with a grain of salt. So with me building boundaries, it was nothing against anybody else. I had to do it to help myself heal on the inside and out, to become better as a person, right? And like Tracy Sue 20 years ago, you guys probably wouldn't even like. <laughs> I hate to say that about myself, but I, I'm honest, right? I have a lot of friends and family. I don't know. That's not true. Judy Nichols has known me for 100 years, so she's always loved me. You know, I have my moments back in the day, and I'm going to talk about this. Dan and I would go to an average of four to five bluegrass festivals every summer. We, we, we did spring, summer, and fall. We would average probably about five bluegrass festivals. And we met a, have met a lot of amazing lifelong friends through these bluegrass festivals. Judy's one of them, okay? And so I was the camp cook. For real, I would get up, I would make tons of breakfast, you know, biscuits gr biscuits and gravy and eggs, fried potatoes all cooked outside on a stove top outside, you know, true camping. Hubby would either make his big batch of soup beans or we'd grill some chicken, you know, or we'd make pulled pork or something like that. But we were the camp cooks. Well, I was a camp cook and everything else. And um, after 10 years of being consistent with that, I got burned out. Like, I wasn't appreciated. Nobody... I cooked one day, and this is the truth, I cooked one day, and I made a big bunch of grilled barbecue chicken and everything else. Everybody ate. Everybody ate. We probably had like 10 or 12 people eating with us. Everybody ate, right? Except for me. I go in the camper. I come out. Good morning, Miss Terry. How are you? Come back out of the camper about 20 minutes later because I'm exhausted, and they were all gone. They ate, and they left this whole huge mess whole huge mess and I went flipping off I flipped off I like ah I flipped out and that was the last time I cooked for anybody like for real except for me and Dan like I was not being appreciated and what I did and it's not that I was looking for anything I was cooking anyway so I made sure I had an abundance of food for those who needed to eat because that's what we did right that's that's family that's what you do Sounds like your family. Oh, I'm talking about my bluegrass family. And so I was like, I'm over it. I built my boundary. And that was the last time I cooked for a crowd. And every year, everybody go, Tracy, aren't you cooking today? I'm like, nope, I'm not cooking today. Dan and I can go eat out of the food truck over here, which I made Dan do quite a bit. 
I'd make him go into town and get me pizza or something. You know, I would bring lunch meat for just myself. I'm like, I'm having sandwiches today. What are you all having? Nobody ever offered to cook for me. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So I set that boundary there. I had to. And every once in a great while, guys, probably, you know, at once a year or every other year, I would cook you know, some big old pot of something, Mets and crowd or something, and I'd offer it. But eventually they all got the hint that, you know, when you sit there and you put in your blood, sweat, and tears, right? You're trying really hard to make everybody else happy. And then all of a sudden, you go away for 10 to 20 minutes just to refresh yourself. You come back out, they have taken advantage of what you offered and left the mess. See what I'm saying? No. You build your boundaries. You take it to the point where you put your foot down for yourself and you decide. Sorry, I had a notification. And you decide what is the best direction for you. Hands down. My brothers, however, when I do cook, like we haven't been together for a long time, but we do offer to clean up everything else. My family, family is different. Thomas, uh, my mother would always go in and just start cleaning up and putting things away at my brother Thomas's house. Uh, but they do, like if we are together, my brothers do clean up after themselves. We were raised that way, and that's how we go. Um, but I still had to build my boundaries with that because my brothers eat a lot. They have a, big, they have a lot of kids. They have a big family, as you know. So like Christmas, like Thanksgiving, we usually gave it to Dan's dad, family. And Christmas was just me and Dan up on the hill by ourselves. That was our only holiday like we spent together. Because my, my, my family's huge. And there's no way I can buy Christmas gifts for all those kids. And so I told my brothers, you celebrate with your children and family. And um, Dan and I will celebrate, which is me and Dan on the hill. Right? And it's, been, it's worked out very well. Really well ever since then. So I had to build that boundary too. <laughs> I'm just saying, build your boundaries about yourself. You're allowed. You're allowed. If you feel like you're being taken advantage of, smile, give it to God, and go, you know what? Don't build a wall. Build a boundary. There's a big difference in building a wall and building a boundary, for real. So i got to get in there. I'm working lunch and dinner today. So, But I wanted to pop on and keep up with my dailies, guys. Always know I'm here for you 100%. Stay fabulous. Tell me how pretty I look in this today. I'm shining. Love your faces, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.